We were thinking about how to make it easier to communicate. For example, here we have A, B, C, D. This is how almost every story between deaf refugees and Romanian volunteers begins. Mimic sign language may seem universal, but communication is not easy between two alphabets, one Kyrillic, the other Latin. Do you speak English? Oh, it's better that you write your name, right? Did you hear any bombs? Sorry, did you feel it? On February 23rd, the army came. It was quiet and it was dawn. Tamara left Ukraine with the first bombings. In the Sea Red Customs, she met the volunteers and she took shelter in Botoshani. She had no idea just how far from the war to run. She dreams of reaching Prague. Most of them do not want to stay near the borders. They feel too close to the conflict area and they are afraid. We don't know how to feel about ourselves, but we're not leaving, we're staying here. Volunteers were hosting 13 hearing impaired refugees. They put them in a register also, as they do with everyone who crosses their threshold. Day and night, the volunteers found shelters for the refugees, in hotels, in apartments, everywhere possible. Nearly a thousand hearing impaired Ukrainians were supported by the Romanian National Association of the Deafs. For example, a 10-day-old newborn is coming from the border. 11 days, actually, considering today, and he doesn't even have a birth certificate. Even in their silent world, these people cry out their hopes and fears. The war has changed the lives of nearly 3 million people with disabilities living in Ukraine, according to the UN. Please stop the war. We want peace. We want to go back home to Ukraine.